Hello everyone and welcome to this video on how to mod Company of Heroes 1. This is going to be a series that I'm going to try to do which explains all the different parts of modding Company of Heroes 1. In this episode we're just going to be setting up the mod. We're not going to do any modding itself, we're just going to set up everything you need to make a mod. Setting everything up for it. So, what you first want to going to do is go to this link, uh, this site on Reddit. It's a modding subreddit for Company of Heroes. Uh, this is going to be in the description. And here you can find a lot of different things. A lot of how-tos and such. But also, two things are going to be very important for this video. The Grand How-To and Corsix Mod Studio. Now, to start off with Corsix, Corsix is basically the main program you're going to be using to mod the game. This is how, you can, how you're going to change and add units and buildings and such and add abilities. And all those things. So you want to go to downloads and download the latest version. If you've done that, then you can go to the grant how to. Let's cancel here. And then if you scroll down, you're going to find a link. Now you're going to open this link and we're not going to do anything with it yet. But by the way, this is a very handy tutorial, the grant how to. And it's basically what I'm going to do in this video and in the next video, only in text format, which you may find better to try or you can watch this video if you want the choice is entirely up to you but um yeah we're going to be saving this for later and first you're going to of course install mods uh, corsix mod studio once you've done that you're going to open it and click on new mod because we're going to create a new mod first we're going to say that the mod is for company of heroes slash opposing fronts and then you're going to give it a name I'm going to call it cheese because that's the best I could come up with. And then we're going to select the location of the game, which is going to be the Steam version. So it's going to be your Company of Heroes relaunch folder. And then you're going to click on Create. Then it's going to ask what language you want to use. For me, I'm going to select English. And But, well, it's, it depends entirely on you. Maybe you play the game in German or in Italian or something, and then you select what. Then you select the language that's appropriate for you. And you're going to click remember for this mod so that once you launch the mod in Corsix, it will always just default to the to what you select. So for my, for me, it's going to be English. I'm going to click use locale. And now Corsix is going to create uh, a few things. And I'm going to wait. And now it's done. You can always see cheese.module. This is where Corsix basically says what module you're currently using or modifying. But we're not going to do any modifying yet. As I said, this video is only going to show how to set up. Because unfortunately, Corsix is not that great with setting up uh, the mod. So now you, the next thing you're going to do is uh, go to the Company Fears Relaunch folder, the Steam folder. And you're going to see that it created cheese. And if we scroll down... We're going to see cheese.module. Now this module is what we're going to change. Because Core 6 was never updated. And with the release of Tales of Valor. Relic changed how modules worked. The layout of modules. And this module that uh, Core 6 creates. Is the old version. This version will not work. So when I change it. We're going to this handy dandy file that we opened before. From the Grand How 2. Which is the new module file. Copy, Let's paste everything, and save it. And as you can see, we now have the cheese module file now uses this to grant how to. Now, one thing we gotta change is the grant how to control H to replace. And we're gonna select the grant how to, and we're gonna change it in this case to cheese. And we're gonna replace all. This is so that the module uses the correct uh, folder. As you can see, cheese slash data attribute and cheese slash data. And this the locale file. So this is just setting up so that the mod actually uses the folders we're going to be using. Now, once you've done that, you can close it. And technically, you can launch the game already with your mod. But there are going to be a few problems, which I'm going to demonstrate. So in order to launch your mod... You're going to go to Relic Company of Heroes, not Company of Heroes Online. This one doesn't work. You go to Relic Company of Heroes. And you're going to create a shortcut. And you're going to go to Properties. 
And at the end of the target, you're going to add minus dev and minus mod space cheese or the mod name. Uh, every time I mention something with changing it to cheese, I want you to remember that it's the name of the mod. So this could be completely different for you. And it probably will be because I doubt you're going to be naming your mod cheese. But anyways, you're going to add minus dev and minus mod and then the name of the mod. These two are needed to actually properly launch your mod. Next, we're going we're gonna to launch a mod using this shortcut. And there are going to be two problems with the current version, which you're going to which you're going to see in just a moment. Sega. Okay, we're going to skip through these, and you're going to see one of the two problems and the second problem right here. As you can see. There, there is a problem with the text. The game does not know what text to use, and that's because we haven't, we haven't actually put any text in the local in the local um, file. But what that means, you're gonna see in, a, in only a, in just a few minutes, in a minute. And as you can see, the Tales of Valor and yeah, the Tales of Valor DLCs do not properly work. And if you go to the rewards. You can see that there are a lot of misconnections. So there are some problems. And that's the last part we're going to do for this video. Is fix these problems so that it actually works how it's supposed to work. Oh yeah, I my version of Company of Heroes for some reason doesn't want to quit. It just stays frozen so I have to use Task Manager. Shouldn't for you though. Anyways, what we're going to do now is do two things. First we're going to fix that language problem. You're going to go to Company of Heroes, Engine, Local, and then you're going, to, you're going to copy the language that you have right here. So for me, it's English. For you, it may be German or any other language. Then you're going to go to the mod, which is Cheese, and then Local, Locale. I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce it. And then you're going to paste it just right there. Just paste it, and that's all you have to do. Now the game will check the local file, will see English, and because you launched the game, in English, it would just use this file and everything should work. Now, one other thing before we continue is there are a lot of folders that are created, that Corsix creates, and there are only three that are necessary. So I recommend, for simplicity's sake, deleting every single other folder except data, data, attrib, and local, or locale. Those are the only ones you want to keep. Everything else can be deleted so that you only have these three left. Next, we're going to solve the Tales of Valor problem. So with the DLCs and the missing textures. As you can see, I have a lot of different mods, but you can see with every mod that it also has a DLC 1, DLC 2, DLC 3, and an ops.module. And as you can see, that our cheese module only has the normal one. And this is what causes the problems with Tales of Valor. Tales of Valor are basically DLC 1, 2, and 3. One for each campaign, and the ops are the... Tales of Valor uh, special missions like Operation Stonewall. But we're going to add these to our mod. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Relic DLC 1, 2, and 3 and Ops. And we're going to create a copy for each one of these. And we're going to change the names to the mod name. So for me it's going to be Cheese DLC 1. Cheese DLC 2. And Cheese DLC 3. And cheese ops. Okay, so now we got this all set up. We're gonna open these new files and we're gonna change one thing, and that is the parent. We're gonna change this to cheese because the mod name is cheese. The normal folder is called cheese. Or actually this this is just um to see what parent. So what module, the normal module file. So we want these ones to connect to this module file. So we're going to change it to cheese. So you want to change all four of these files to cheese or the mod name you have. Save it and then close them up again. And now the mod should work as intended. We've added the locale file and we've added the other module file. So if we launch the game now, the mod now. 
I'm gonna wait and, it, and you will see that everything works as it should. Wait, Here we go. Skip to the cutscene. And as you can see, there is text. As you can see, everything has text now as it should. And the DLCs work properly now. So if you go to the rewards, you can see that we are not missing any textures. And that everything has text as it should. So now the mod is set up. Um, the groundwork has been laid for you to mod the game. Stop modding the game. But we will do this in the next episode. I'm going to close this down. And in the next episode, episode 2, I'm going to show you the basics of using Corsix Mod Studio. To edit things like squads, buildings, adding upgrades and abilities to certain units and such. And just get the basics down of Corsix Mod Studio. Uh, I hope this helped. And I hope I will actually continue with this series, but for now, take it easy.